Hey Frank. Frank. I need to make you one. I need to make more animations. I need to make you an animation too. You make you one, you need to make Danny one, I need to make um you make one for Joe. And now I'm thinking about when I wanna do it. You know, I just finished Kana. I just finished Kana, which is what I do on Thursdays. Maybe for a couple of Thursdays I'll do art. I think I like that. Before deciding what I want to play next. This one is gonna be really fun. I wanna do that one. The bacteria will live on, but who yeah, like those, Frank. Yeah. Kataya one and Nay one and Wayne has one and Lise has one so far. Well, speaking as a snowflake, I gotta say I'm grateful. Yeah, I can't think of those. 
it's not just like people that I like to hang out with, it's like people who I can think of really fun, yeah, like really fun ideas for animation. Okay, this is good enough for now. Cause look at all this stuff I have to do for the stream. My stream is like falling apart. <laughs> Not in a bad way. It's just like everything's boring. I have this. See, it's like the background is just some image I took off of Google. And at least I have the logo, so that's nice. But then it's just like behind the logo, it's just like pink. Which is fine. I guess. But I would like, like, some nice lines. Uh, thanks, Frank. <laughs> yeah, but I want to make it prettier, you know? What would your animation be? It'd definitely have a Franker face in there somewhere. Maybe, like, dogs. Definitely has to have Doritos. And chips. Definitely dogs with chef hats. I would figure it out on the screen and yeah, 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 definitely those. Maybe if there's a clip somewhere of you saying, mmm, delicious, I could use that somehow. Yeah, we would figure it out on stream and if you're there, you could give ideas too. As a consult streamer, you can confirm this is not boring. Oh, uh, thanks, Bugatti. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but I want to do more. Oh, I love how they made me a little pumpkin. They gave me a little pumpkin. That's so cute. But yeah, I want to do more. I want to do... Because I just finished Kena, and... I could just find another game to play, but... I've been wanting to do art, and I've just been putting it off, and putting it off, and putting it off. Because I have, like, my schedule that, like, works for me mental health-wise. But I think instead of the single-player games, I could do art. Like, not, like, dreams art that I, like, take super seriously, but, like, art that's just kind of fun. I liked Kana a lot. I think Kana is one of the coolest ones. I really liked it. I basically spent the whole time playing complaining, though. <laughs> Mostly because as I was playing it, I was like, I want to see the next part because it's so beautiful and I like it. And so, like, every time a boss, I couldn't just beat it. Or every time, like, something didn't work, I was like, God damn it, just let me win. <laughs> and I was playing on hard mode for some reason. But yeah... I, I did like it. I liked it even even though I was complaining the whole time. I really liked it and I like the combat but I hope that if they make a sequel that they balance the combat more because the combat is like dodging is the way to go all the time. You always want to dodge if you block it's like as a last resort because it just takes away from your ability to like dash on enemies. So blocking is actually bad. You want to avoid it. So dodging is better. Parrying is good, but the timing is really tight. So like, you get stuff out of it, but not till way later. You have to like, get to level 3 and spend points to make parrying useful for you. So, like, for the most part, it's, like, it's, like, not rewarding, especially for how tight the timing is. So, like, it creates a situation where, like, you're always dodging. You're always dodging. And that's, like, that's, like, the best way to play is to just dodge and bow. Dodge and bow, dodge and bow. Dodge and arrows, dodge and arrows. 
and that's like it like kind of sucks because I always wanted I'm the type of person who like I like secure a lot and I like parrying and I like standing my ground against the enemies even if it's like difficult to do it I just find it more fun to like try and time the parries and like and sometimes I'll like get myself killed doing that because I think it's more fun but it Kana, I didn't feel like I could do that because the timing was harder and I didn't get as much reward from doing it that way. So, yeah. And that's fine, but I wish there was more in the, if they make a sequel, that they make it more balanced combat so you can like stand your ground against enemies and you're not always like dodging it's not always so good to dodge you know yeah i don't know it's like this like really really crazy it's like really crazy um thoughts in my head about how much more fun it would be if blah 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 but you know i'm very like picky when it comes to games like that when it comes to combat systems I always want it a certain way. So, but yeah, it did, it did great. Even just the dodging all the time was fun. It just, like, I'm, like, thinking all the time, oh, it could have been better, you know? Let me turn my mic down because I think I'm screaming at you guys. There we go. And let's, uh, let's do this. There we go. I think that's better. I'm just kind of like taking all the volume down so I'm not screaming. There we go. Yeah, but no, I had a lot of fun with Kana. It was beautiful. I loved all the hats and my little rats were so cute. Um, and I loved it. Okay, so that's that. Today what we're doing is we're finishing up the main menu. So, so far, this is what we have. So we have a main menu, right? And then it's got three options. It's got play, how to play, and settings. And then you click how to play, nothing happens because I didn't make the tutorial yet. And you press settings, and then I have to make the settings. So they're going to be draw line to cursor and sound I didn't make this yet. And then you play. And you can either go into study mode, which is like the main game, or you can do time attack. Just like the version on drink. These don't work yet. They're just buttons, they don't do anything. Oh, and this one should send you to the game, but it doesn't yet. So I just have to press this. Oh. Oh, nothing sends you there. Let's, uh, just do this, then. Here's the main... Okay, yeah, let's play this. No, I don't want to play the project. I want to play this scene. Yeah, this is study mode. And this is made. This is done, basically. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more creative stuff with the score, but... So it's just like Dream. Five power over six, you click it, you get a point. Power over four, you click it, you get a point. The way that it's better than dreams is this. If you get stuck, you can press space bar, and then, like, all your angles appear. And then you'll know where the answer is, so you can go click it. And then you got stuck, so then you, like, get a cheat sheet, and then you click it. You didn't get points, but then the cheat sheet goes away, because you got one right. And then you can keep playing until you get stuck again. Maybe I'm stuck here, and I'm like, oh, it's actually there. So it's a studying tool. Yeah, so that's study mode. Time attack's not gonna have a cheat sheet. Okay. Kana 2 dots the pierogies. <laughs> I got my final exam scores today. I'm so happy because I literally got the exact amount of points on the dot that I need for your number one college course that I'm going to get into. Yay! 
I'm glad you got enough coin M. Oh my god. I got, um... When I took, I took the AP classes and the AP tests. It's a messed up system, but I did it because I would get college credit. And I got a passing score, but then the college didn't accept it. Because <laughs> it wasn't high enough passing. I needed one more. I needed higher than passing. It sucked. But I ended up learning calculus a lot better because I retook it. It worked out for the best. Yeah. And then the class that I didn't understand, this was even crazier. The class that I understood and like did good at, I didn't get high enough scores. But the one that I didn't understand as well, I got high enough scores. So then I got credit for physics one and two. Even though physics two wasn't in the curriculum for the test that I passed. So I got credit for a class that I didn't never took. And I, I didn't even I didn't even know anything about any of the content in there. And that's college credit. <laughs> It was crazy. So yeah, my physics isn't very good. My kinematic, my like basic physics is good, but not my like physics that has to do with electricity. the exam system in Ireland. It really sucks that we have to do well in all these language subjects in order to get into computer science. Literally has no relevance whatsoever. Yeah. That's crazy. How many languages? Or, or do you mean just like all that English stuff? Yeah. My heart was like... It's the same for like people who don't like math and are trying to do like English. Three? Holy shit. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Style box flat. That's what I tried.
that's nice. Now can I make it so that, I need to figure out how to make it so that it knows when the mouse is hovering over it. So I guess I could put an invisible button. I'm really glad I stopped doing this last stream and saved it till now. Like I feel the the brain going. So like the button knows when it's being hovered because of this. So where can I get that information when it's hovered? Whether input should be should propagate when you close the control. There's too many fucking words. Chant controls whether control will be able to receive mount button input events through GUI input and how these events should be handled. Whether the control can receive the mouse entry. Oh. Place is really happening. Wait, what's mouse enter? Place is really happening. Oh, look. Emitted when the mouse enters the controls rectangle area. Oh. So I don't need a button. Because this is a control. So it has mouse entered and mouse exited.
Truin Hero. Hello, thank you for the follow. So I gotta check this thing. It tells me to check, check the thing. Check mouse filter. Whether the control will be able to receive mouse button input events. So it says stop. Stop, pass, or ignore. Those are options are different than I thought they would be. Stop, pass, or ignore. Also controls whether the control can receive the mouse entered and mouse exited signals. See the constants to learn what each does. See the constants. Where's the constants at? Default cursor shape. The default cursor shape for this control. Useful for Godot plugins and applications or games that use the system's mouse cursors. Cute. Maybe I'll just leave it on stop and see if it works. Because I don't understand filter. Is this saying it'll stop the filter? There won't be any filter? I don't know. script on checkbox, which is the parent node for this scene, because it's on the top. And I need to connect mouse entered and mouse exited. So mouse entered, when the mouse enters the controls area. That's different than hovering. Is it hovered right now? Detect input. 
Okay, now connect it. Now that it's named the right thing. There we go. On detect input, the mouse has entered. And then... I need... More things. I need exited. And I need... Click. Is that something I have? I guess I have that through, like, the, uh, input map in the project setting. Mouse click left. So then these functions will, I don't need a separate function for mouse click, I just need like conditions inside these two functions for what happens if there's a mouse click. If it's not inside, if the mouse isn't inside the checkbox then it should just do nothing. So I need variable which tells me this is going to be a boolean variable so it's a variable for checkbox cover and it'll start out as false Checkbox hovered to not checkbox hovered. So change it from false to true. Same thing here. Change it from. Oh no, 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 no. This one will be. Oh, okay, let's actually not do it this way. Let's do true and false. Like. So we should be able to know now. Okay, let's do... The process function. And then this will print. Let's go to this, and let's play this scene. Save it first. There we go. False, true. So whenever it's inside, it's true, and whether it's outside, it's false. Good. Okay, so that works. that pass for now in case we need to test more things. Okay, so when it's hovered, I guess I want it to, do I want it to, what do I want it to look like? I guess, I guess I could make it grow a little bit. I could make it thicker. I think that's the best way to do it. Change the border. Border width. 
border width left. So let's do this. Everything is everything, connect to those dots. The smell of blue, taste of a cube, feel texture in these thoughts. Memories of seasons are a map of reasons. You are beautiful, you. Everything is everything, collect your thoughts. Silly phrase, even if you tried, you couldn't stop. Memories of seasons are a map of reasons. Are beautiful. drop of rain you felt you remember that one that one You don't have to stay. Find another way. Just don't lie to me and believe I love you. I love you. Oh, really? Invalid set.
Sorry that I really need you. Sorry that I made you leave. Sorry that you can't forgive me. Sorry that we lost our love. So now it plays, but as soon as it tries to do this, it doesn't like it. not declared shit. Okay.
the identifier isn't declared. How do I access this? It's control. Property of to figure out how I can access. I think that's maybe that's what's happening here. Don't know how. to achieve all kinds of looks without the need of a texture. The following properties are customizable. Color, border, width. This is what I need. Setting corner radius to high values is allowed. As soon as corners overlap, the style box will switch to a relative So I think I need to call Stylebox Flash. Stay alive. I don't think I need this script anymore. 
more. But that is on base panel, so that's not an issue. Set border width. Margin. Let's try this. I'm not, I'm not calling the style box correctly. I don't know how. I don't know how to use it. There's so many ways that I still need to grow. We're all baby creatures just spinning like tops and growing as living, so don't ever stop. Stylebox is a resource that provides an abstract base class for drawing stylized boxes for the UI. Styleboxes are used for drawing the styles of buttons, line edit backgrounds, tree backgrounds, etc. Also, for testing a transparency mask for point of signal. If a mask has failed in the stylebox, no assign it to the master control, click the master control. The choices you make, they decide where you land. The Focus style Focus. What's focus? much difference in
respect I think I think I need to like save this resource.
project where I'm attempting to put a series of trying to do something like this, like, if I'm changing the normal style of the button. Talk 
like a big dick You got some principles That kind of stuff to leave you feeling pretty miserable Drop a ready to submit Trust me, you don't really want to know what I think about it
Case style box texture. Playing some Immortals, Phoenix Rising on Game Pass. Older Ubisoft game I never got around to. Oh. Yeah, I never heard of that one. It's kind of cool. This looks like civilization, the way they did this art. I don't know why. But this person reminds me of Spore. I like the Cyclops. There's a map. It's cool. I mean, who is this useful to? Stylebox, Stylebox? The other people, does that mean something to somebody? That doesn't mean anything to me. String name name. Stylebox, Stylebox. I want to do it this way. Because then I wouldn't have to, like... Now let's look up at... Creates a local override for the theme style box with the specified name. Local overrides always take precedence when setting theme items for the control.
Example of modifying a property in a style box by duplicating it. This is a lot just for like changing the border size, you know? It's just, it's just a lot. But I think it's gonna work. And if I wanna remove it, Okay, so I want to remove it here. Oh, but that's in a different function. Shit. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's true in Toon Ninja. After a while, you get more confident. Yeah. The reason this one was hard is because... So, like, I was in here, and I was making a little checkbox that people could click, and I was like, oh, when they're hovering it, I want the 
border to be checked there, so that they know that they're hovering at. And I was like, oh, that should be easy, right? Because, like, I'm clicking these things and it's happening right before my eyes. Like, no problem. But because there's this, like, thing in the system, like the file, like this thing here, it's called a style box flag. And it's like, kind of like a resource, it's like, it's basically like a, a thing that the computer loads up to tell it all the information about what it looks like. Because I'm changing things in that thing, it's not the same as like, just changing a variable or changing something that I wrote. It's like a thing, it's like a saved file. So like, because of that, it's like really hard for me. It's like it needs like extra work to like change things about it because it's a file. Yeah. It always takes time no matter what you learn. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, but but there's like certain things that's like a lot harder and you wouldn't think that those would be the things that are hard but they are it, like, yeah it like changes it's because it's like it's like in it's like a file in the you know how you open up a game and like it's got a files so here's mine Here's my files for my game. So basically because instead of just changing, like I'm, instead of just making a script or something, I'm like using a script to change one of these files. In particular, I'm changing this one right here. So that's like a lot hard. It's harder to do that than just like writing a script. Yeah, I gotta really think it out. It's not necessarily just think it out. It's more like... For the last, like, however long I've been trying to figure it out, which is pretty long, basically, the whole time, I've been looking at this stuff that tells me, like, what it says. Like, I, I, I like, change this in the arrows and it changes it, right? But then, like, I need to know how to do that in the code, too, because I want to change it based on certain things that happen in the game. So... It's not like it's hard to, like, think it out, like, what I want. It's more like... It's more like, okay, I'm looking at it now, and then I see... It says over here, border with left. That's what I want to change. So then, I went in here and I just typed it. And then it told me, no, I can't do that just by typing it. I was like, well, why not? And then, I started to think, and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe it's because it's this. It's this panel thing. So then I went over here and I looked it up. And I just try to like, this is like basically how I solve every problem is it's like, it tells me I can't do what I wanna do. And then I look on the Q and A and I see other people had that problem. And they usually say something that's kinda helpful, but doesn't, it does I can't like, exactly copy what they do, I, I just like see, like this, I saw this, add style box over, I'm like, oh shit, what's that, maybe I have to use this, and so that's like, it's like that process over and over again, because apparently like, certain things you can't just change, like you can't just type change this, like, you have to know how to access every little thing in order to change it, that's the thing. Is that some certain things over here are like harder to access than others for like someone who doesn't know how to get to stuff. So that's usually what the problem is. It's like I don't know how to access the stuff that I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah. That's usually what it is. That's usually what it is with this stuff. It's like it's like, how do I get it? How do I do it? How do I, how do I refer to stuff? How do I say, 
how do I say it? Which is, I guess, why they call it a language, right? But it's like, how do you say Apple in Spanish, right? It's kind of like the same thing. But it's not like there's a... Well, there is a dictionary, actually. There's a dictionary here. And this dictionary is like everything for the scripting, for the language, the code documentation. It's kind of like a dictionary. But then, like, sometimes the dictionary isn't good enough. Like, I try to use this, too. So I went to, uh, what I did? Oh, right. I typed in here, I went, um, order with left. That's what I typed in. And then it comes up with this. Stylebox flat. And I know, oh, so this is what I'm using now. So this has something to do with what I wanted to change. There it is. Order with black. It's part of this. So it's like little pieces of a puzzle. And then eventually you get somewhere. And now this is what I'm trying now. I'm trying this thing that... that I found. I found this. This is an example of modifying a property, which is exactly what I want to do. I want to change it. So I think I found it. So this tells me like what to do basically, and then I, I basically copy it and I look at each line and I try to figure out like what it's doing. And because I know like what all this stuff is usually, I can kind of figure out like what it's trying to say. Like, this is a language I can read better than the other stuff. Because this is like coding, which is more like familiar to me than all the other stuff. Okay, let's try this. Oh, right, but then I ran into this issue. set index The snippet below assumes the child node, my button, has a style box flat assigned. Resources are shared across instances. So we need to duplicate it. To avoid modifying the appearance of all other buttons.
This is what I want to say. normal means Maybe this is just things. Maybe because it's not a thing. The name of a theme type variation used by this control to look up its own theme on it. I thought I was onto something with this, but I wasn't.
So none of this is working. So this person is saying it's not working. But this was ages ago. Depending on how many different background colors yeah. you want to have available, you can either create them in advance and save them as resources. Well, I've run out of things to say. It's probably or instance them in <laughs> Oh my god. Mm, don't show this. I'll show you. that on the panel. Hey, I'm back, it. girl. This is setting a variable equal to the panel. Set the set function.
Except for my collar out of town Like a wave made of ass that I can't turn down I probably seem like a east clown All sorts calling me a king right now E-E-N-W-A-P How does we be just like me? That sounds like a personal issue I'm vegan, I won't dissect you You just learn how to respect you Kill the voices trying to get you With kindness, just ignore them Let them complain on the forum Great Sometimes I feel like I'm an imposter that can't ever measure up to everyone on the roster. I won't lie that I honestly feel so awkward, like they see me for more than I am. I should win an Oscar. My ego feels of everything they've ever said, but it will never replace a lot of voices in my head saying, For everybody, I wanna buy you around. Can you keep the up? You don't wanna let them down. The show up for the game, so I'm trying to shake it down. But that'll wait me down, and it'll come with the crown. They don't want no one to see me break well, although I appreciate the crazy and my way you somehow wind up. Damn. You're trying to submit a PDF for school and the uploader doesn't work. What, well, on like turn it in or whatever thingy? That sucks. I'll do some coding homework. What they have you doing? Some dumb sight thing. Oh, are they making you do like... Yeah, you learning Python? Cool. Well, I don't want you to dox yourself, but if you have questions, that would be fun. Program that counts down from 12. Like what? Every every 30 sec, every like second, it counts down. That seems pretty easy. There's like that timer thing. You got that. You won't have trouble. From 12 to 0? Oh, okay. That's easy. Timing doesn't matter. I could do that. 
Although I'm using GD script, so it would probably be different. Python's too crazy. No. This one was based off of Python. GD script was based off of Python when they made it. Raffles. You make a raffle and you join it. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I'm stuck. That's okay, though. I, I try and, I'm trying something else now, but I'm stuck. Congratulations, Joe. Have you ever heard of the lion's den where Daniel took his fifth lesson inside and back out again? Well, it's kind of like that. You gotta go mad. What you see with your elbow? Oh, 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 and get yourself out, 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 out. One, two, three, four. I don't mean to sound accusatory, but my respiratory systems are very eaten. Hard as hard as hard as beaten. I'm rich upon and mass if I ride a road. And my mass is to high rise from the red of psychosis. Drive for some catharsis. I don't really recommend this. Man, I'm every time in my head. Because it's my life. Sausage meat onto the pastry, put some barbecue sauce onto the pastry, fold it up. Get some milk, and spread it on the top of the pastry. To make no, 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 the sauce anymore. roll up fancy, you can get a fork and use it to pull up a nice pan on top. 
I don't think anyway. Put it all over, put it in the over for twenty to twenty-five minutes and more. I did it. <laughs> yes. Although why is it gray? That's ugly. anymore. Now when I click, I want to toggle whether the X is on. I learned a lot about uh, how to do things with panels now. I don't know how to edit a style box that I edit over here with code, but I know how to create a style box with code, which is good. It's good enough. We 
always tend to run to the next thing Instead of accepting imperfections We keep on wrestling with the best things About ourselves that makes us interesting Instead of resting on my laurels I keep on questioning Whatever happened to the rest of me Is this really all what's left for me? I'm on the quest to see What's the secret to the rest of me To live in regrets when I rest in peace It's embarrassing how you carry in These comparisons I'm getting buried with But what's scary is I'm the one that'll wait till my chariot Like I'm in love with my doubts that I married it I at least know enough to be aware of it Keeping on working away ways to care of it Taking all of my flaws and I cherish them Because it's always been cozy inside of my skin I love the way that I am I've never given a damn Keep you your chance I always stick to the plan Prefer to fall where I stand Bet on my feet on my land No need you to understand I'ma do all that I can If you feel the same, listen in Cause then we're gonna tell you we can Nobody's perfect Two, one, go!
What was that thing I was doing yesterday? Hey Summer. I'm making a main menu for um my unit circle game. Ignore this. I'm trying to add this and so it shouldn't be here. But anyways you can go to the settings. And I'm making like settings for it, which is why this thing is up here. But I'm it's bugs, so that's why it's always appearing. So that's what I'm doing right now. But what we already did is this. There. We made the game. So you can click all where the angle shows. It tells you where to put the angle. And then you click where it is. And then you get points. That's all it is right now. And then if you get stuck and you don't know where it is, you can press spacebar. It'll tell you where all of them are. And then you can find it and click it. And it won't give you points and then it'll take the cheat sheet away. So then you can try to find the next one on your own. But that's okay because if you're stuck, you can press spacebar again. But I know where all of them are, so I don't need it. But it's to help you learn where all of them are. Child inherit this ability. Good job. Make me happy. This is for my light, but it's too bright. But I just play with this ring now. <laughs> it's too bright. So I have the backup light in the background.
this should be turning off. This is a Did it yesterday. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't just working, but I just made it work by typing specifically to hide and show it. Okay, now I just need another one. Crazy Stewie. Yeah, 3.5. 
we moved up in the world to 3.5. I made a checkbox. <laughs> I wasn't able to do much today so far, but I put a checkbox. Oh, there's a new one? I only like the versions that... I only like the versions that are, like, stable or whatever, or like the official releases. Not yet, there, there will be. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, I don't like experimenting. I, I like being safe. Because <laughs> I'm new. It's already hard enough, you know. I don't like where this is. I don't want to move it over here. Yeah, but I made a checkbox. I'm happy. M equals 12, print M for I in range 11. Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh, you, used a, you just used a for loop? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I was thinking of doing it a different way. to simplify it more. You don't need M there. You're trying to get if statement to work? For I in range 11, print 12 minus I. Whoa! Look at Crazy Sue to go! <laughs> Right, right, right. That's a very mathy like way to do it. I like that. That's Joe's homework, by the way. Joe's doing his coding homework. He's in college for he's in college for coding. It's Python. Oh, let me show you, Crazy Stewie, because it's been a while. Let me show you what we've been up to. So we're making a menu now for the game. Right? So we've got play. Study mode is the game that you saw me working on. Time attack's going to be the same, but it's not going to have certain things, and it'll be timed. And how to play, where I'm going to put a little tutorial here. I don't know how to put videos into the games, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And then the settings, we're making the settings menu now. So right now it's like draw line, the cursor, it's like visual effects, and there's going to be some sound effects too. Because I want to add some more music to the game. But then if we go to study mode, it doesn't let me go to study mode yet. I have to use the little cheat sheet. I think. There you go. Then we can go to the actual game. So I added a little bit of visual effects to make it better. So now you got uh, the little triangle that's inside the circle, and you got the grayed out triangle outside the circle, and you've got the cursor that tells you where you're aiming. Happy to see you again, Crazy Stu. Always like seeing you around here because you're really helpful and really nice. 
Oh, and I added a cheat sheet too. So if you don't know where the angle is, you can press spacebar and then click it the re where the angle is. And it won't add your score, but then it'll make the cheat sheet go away. You can always click it again if you want the, the cheat sheet to come back up. And you won't get points if you get the right answer with the cheat sheet. to start, stop, and step. Oh. For I in range, start at 12, stop at 0, step by negative 1. So step, step is like, I guess, in my head, it's like the change from each, from each one. So you can make it count by one, two, three, four. In this case, we're counting down, so it's counting by negative one. Yeah, how much I changes on each iteration. Yeah. Cause I'm scared. <laughs> no, because uh, I didn't really know what I was doing with them, and I was trying with the V boxes. But um, Aviron, who is also a new uh, user of Good Dough, came in and told me they just always use grids. And then I used the grid, and I was like, oh, okay, this is this is easier. It's more. It's more, um, user-friendly, I guess. So it's easier for me to understand how to use it. But I'm sure, like, the other ways are better, but I just have trouble with it. Even with the grids, I still have trouble with, like, aligning stuff correctly. But over time, I figure it out. Like, for example... I was trying to put this checkbox, right? And put it right here. I didn't actually put this checkbox here with the actual H-box and V-box stuff. I just dragged it over here, because I didn't... I was having trouble getting them to line up how I like. I struggle with that. It's not easy. Maybe there's some sort of tutorial or something for it, but it's like, it was hard for me.
Oh, that's that's super helpful, Crazy Stewie. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd love to take a look. We could look at it uh, even on stream too. That would be really helpful. I could learn more about those H boxes and B boxes and how all this stuff works. Because I still have trouble with it, even with the grids. The grids make it a little easier for me, but they still are hard. Yeah, I'm making a sex settings menu. Yep, so I am. This is like the visual effect. So like in the game... This is what it looks like in the game. And so I'm giving them the option... You see the triangle that follows me around? I'm giving them an option to not have that. So they have an option to either just have the line that goes to the mouse or just have the legs of the triangle, or have neither, or have both. The next thing we're gonna do is the sounds, too. We're gonna have the sounds. I guess I want to add to the global. Oh, we did, um, you know what we did, Crazy Stewie? We learned how to switch scenes a couple streams ago. That was great. I was really happy with myself that I learned it. Because that was a struggle. We did this, we made it- I didn't know anything about global, uh, global scripts, but then we learned that there's something called a global script. And then we learned how to make a, a, a scene switch. It's awesome. Right, so I think this tested. Attempt to call function hide in base null instance on null instance. Oh.
Yeah, I think so. I remember that word, singleton. This is the main menu. Play, how to play settings. You press play, and then there's study, and then three options for time attack. This one won't be anything, it'll just be a video. And then there's this one. Oh, but I want these to be set to the left. I don't know why it's not showing it. That's weird. I want visual effects to be to the left, aligned over here. And then these will be like tapped in. Uh, sounds is gonna be sliders. I have to figure out how to make a slider. But it's gonna be just like how the, how this is like, the checkbox is a scene that I've instanced into the tree for the main menu. The slider is gonna be like that too. I'm gonna make a slider as a separate scene and then I'm just gonna drag it in. Next. I guess I want them to work. So let's go to the road.
so if this is chat that that didn't auto Autofill, but it works. It's okay then.
Oh, now it's auto filling. Weird. Ideally, I wouldn't keep setting this over and over again. I would just set it once. But I'm not sure how. Just the setting screen? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's look. Because I might not actually redo it because, like, I already made it and I don't feel like there's a need to remake it yet. But we're definitely going to go through it and, like, dissect it and like figure out like what happened and like how to do it a better way. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, Crazy Two. That's really helpful. I definitely want to look at that and see how do we do this? Do you like How do you send it to me? I think I, I, I import it, right? I have to download a folder. You know, if you want to. You don't have to send me. Discord server? Yeah! Let's see if this works. I think this will work. Oh yeah, that should help you in. Let's see if that still works. I might need to make a new link, it's been a long time. a new channel for the dog. PC from OneDrive? Did it just say that somewhere, Joe? Why are you typing that? You can open more than one. You had to do that earlier? Oh! OneDrive wasn't letting you start your game. I don't think I have OneDrive online. Although I do see it sometimes. Maybe I do. I don't know. Okay. 
just open the door again? Oh wow. Yeah, I was like having trouble doing that at some point. Whoa, you did all this? Oh, I think it's using the, the default stuff, yeah. I didn't like the way the buttons looked. I know I could change it. Maybe I didn't properly explore my options. But yeah, I'll make my own. I think that's okay, right? To go make my own. So that they look a certain way. Oh. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why my first instinct is to start clicking. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst instinct ever. Anyways, yeah. I think it's okay for me to make my own and just slide them, drop them in. Yeah, I can theme them, right. I was looking at them, the themes. Colors. Oh, you know what? I was having trouble making it a different size. I was, I was, I was just having a lot of trouble with it. And I was like, oh, I'll just make my own. <laughs> but maybe that's not the right, like, way to think about it. Anyways. Really what we're here for is... Um... To see how this has been all, like, put here. And this looks really nice. I like all the... The alignment is great. The default ones have a bit more stuff. Like keyboard focus and things like that. Hmm. Yeah, this looks great. Let's play it and see what happens. See, everything is so small. Could I make it bigger? Oh, wow. So cute. Look at that. That looks great. I like this slider. Although, I might make mine different. Okay. Yeah, this is what I tried to do. This is what I tried to do, and I'll go back. I basically just tried to do this. That's what I tried to do. And then it, all it did was it like messed it up. So now I was like, oh, dang it. But then, and then I was like trying to do scale too, and then I did scale. And then it got like blurry. And then it's also misaligned too. So that's what I was having trouble with, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make my own. And that's why I have trouble with these, mostly, is because of resizing and making it stay, you know? But anyways, here's a new note that I've never seen before. 
I've seen control, but I've never seen sensor container. Keeps children controls centered. Center container keeps the children controls centered. This container keeps all children to their minimum size in the center. And this is a V box, I think. Yeah, V box. So whereas I use, I think I use I kept using margin container because I saw someone else use that. I think it was Acer. So I basically just used that because I was like, oh, that's what you're supposed to use. But Stewie likes to use center containers. For the theming, click on the root node. Like this. No, I don't think so. Is this the root node? I think it is, right? Screen. Go to the- Oh, I was right! Okay, go to theming, create one. And click on it. Oh my god. Look at all this. Manage item. Select a theme type from the list to edit its items. You can add a custom type or import a type with its items from another theme. That's a lot of colors. There's fonts too. I didn't know that. Oh wow, style boxes. So all this is just like already in here? Wait, I'm gonna be completely missing the point. Search for checkbox. Oh no, this is just all the shit I can do. Select import and with data on checkbox on the root. Okay. Select import and with data on the root. It's a tree selecting the parent selects its children. Oh, I see. So all the way down to style box.
and then import selected. And then we've got them here now. Look at all this! To the images. Oh, look at this. Oh, I can add my own. Look how blurry it is. wonder if I could add a vector image instead so it would always just never be blurry. It would never be blurry because it's not raster. 16 by 16. Yeah. So small. That's barely anything. Barely any pixels. You can leave it blank and do a custom drawing with the draw function. Unchecking filter should make it less blurry. Oh, yeah. That, like, it, like, blurs it, right? Yeah. But it's still, like... Wouldn't recommend changing built end resources. Mm -hmm. So leave it blank, so like that. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I delete them, right? I think so. And now they're blank, and then I can just. Add them all as empty. And then I could do the draw function. Go back to manage items. It's called another theme. That's fun. On the top, you can import things from the editor theme. So they look as they do in the editor. Let's see. They look different. Oh, 
Oh shit, I didn't do that. You may want to clear the current checkbox theme. There we go. You can do it in manage items as well. Oh, I see. So, oh, okay. So then... Where are my items, though? Well, I guess, I guess if I... Nothing was selected. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's changing. So, if I go here... What if I do this? still these. So I guess I gotta clear them. And then... Manage items. Carved out by the sands of time Or fed by the fountain Oh, they're gone. Clear the theme for a certain item, go to manage items, edit ways to do it because then I can put whatever image I want in there. Okay. Themes are pretty cool. I like them. And if I want to make a theme, so... If I make the theme on the root node, it'll just apply to all of them, which is really nice. Yeah, that's super convenient. Okay. So small, though. But, like, I bet I could change that to in the theme.
check button. Oh, I know. That's this, right? Yeah, this. This one. They're nice. I like how it looks already, though. I'm probably, like, for my actual game that I'm making, I'm probably not going to do anything different. Like, it's just gonna be like this. Because this is already set up. Like, I'll probably, like, move this over somehow. But, like, learning this stuff is really good. Because this isn't gonna be my only project. And I'm gonna remake this project again after I'm done with it. And I'm gonna make it look like... I'm gonna make it pretty, basically, with, like, 3D graphics and stuff. You could also make the whole name a toggle button, instead of just the checkbox at the end. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 so when you click this, that's kind of smart. But the other thing I wanted to learn from your example was this stuff. So this stuff is where it gets really crazy for me because there's like 20 different things and all of them have their settings. And then when you change a setting on one, it like changes other settings sometimes and you don't realize what happens to me anyway. This is so in main, there's a vert V box. Settings list. And settings list has visual effects, visual settings group. Okay. And that's a margin container. I never use anchor margin EC ETC. The most I use is min size on rec and the size 5. Really? So you don't use any of that stuff? But yet, your stuff still looks good. Like, it's still aligned, and it still has the ability to be indented. So maybe that's where I went wrong, is maybe I'm not supposed to look in there. The containers determine all that, so they can just do it for you. But surely you... So how did you get this indented? Did you... Oh... Oh, the margin. You used a margin container. And it looks like the margin container makes this, like, space here. On the margin container. Margin left. This is what you did. Whoa. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. Wow. So whenever you want things to be offset, you can just put a margin container and then that'll take care of it. You can do that in any direction. This is the, this is what I was missing. I was putting a margin container. 
I did put a margin container. I put it for each one, but I, and I even like, I think I saw this at some point. I think I even saw it at one point. But mine is all fucked up. It's like moving the whole thing because it's the the parent of all of them. But if I had used more margin containers throughout for everything that I wanted to be moved over, so for like this and this, I could have put a margin container for these, for these four. My checkboxes are canvas layer. I could probably change it to control. Oh, is that why they're not working with everything? Let's change it. I don't think it's gonna break anything if I change it. Oh, well, of course it'll break something. Yeah, everything still works. They don't respect the containers. I see. Oh, but actually... Oh, so that broke it. Because I wanted it to not respect the containers. Because... I was having trouble. Okay, so let's change it back. Ah, oh, now they're back up here, shoot. <laughs> Maybe I will, maybe I should, like, redo my, redo my containers. I mean, how long is it really going to take to redo them? Not very long, I don't think. Now that I kind of understand it. Yeah, it was fast for you. Yeah, it would be faster for you, for sure. But at the same time, like, I feel like I could do it. We can do it on a call this weekend. I'd be down. Yeah. That sounds cool, yeah. On Saturday, I stream Multiverses. Um, but honestly, I could do this instead, because I, I was thinking of multiverses as part of my schedule for, like, socialization and stuff, because it's a multiplayer game, but over time it's turned out that it's not really multiplayer. <laughs> it's just me playing multiverses. <laughs> I thought it was going to be good to have something social in my schedule, but it didn't work out that way. So, I mean, all that to say, like, yeah, it's fine to switch it out for whatever. 
Okay. Thank you, Crazy Stewie. I really appreciate that. Yeah, but I could do it any time on the weekend, then. I'll probably, maybe I'll stream again tomorrow and do more of this. Because I didn't really get to stream as much as I wanted today. I had a late start. And then, when I start my stream, I'll, I'll message you just so you know. And then maybe you could hop on. If you're not comfortable being on the stream on call, then I could, I could end the stream there. And then we could do the call. But, uh, yeah. Either way. Well, no, the way you said it was, like, on the weekend. So maybe... Yeah, I'll just message you, like how you said. Yeah, I might, I might message you then. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Well, for now... Well, actually, I don't even want to do for now. It is a lot, isn't it? Oh wow, this is still a V-Box. You show me how you do those things. Okay, yeah. It was starting to really make sense by looking at this. Like, I'm seeing this, and I'm, like, a lot of it is making sense. You know, I might be able to do it. I might be able to just do it. But maybe that's, like... Okay, well, this one's kind of wacky. Oh, yeah, no, this is all of these. And then this is BGM0 and this slider. And then this is the BGM and the 0. And then out here is the second part of this. BGM, this. The audio settings. Yeah! I was going to dedicate a whole stream to making a slider. So, <laughs> that tells you just how unconfident I was that I'd be able to quickly do that. Footer. Oh, a footer. Oh, it's just a margin... <laughs> I thought I was reading the note, it was just a margin container. You separated it, yeah. Cause it that makes sense because it's so separate. So how did you get it so low? Oh, it it looks like yeah, you did. For this one, you did do the rectangle. Yeah, for this one, you did. You did actually put it down. And that makes sense, because it's supposed to be on the bottom. Layout button on the top, bottom wide. Oh, this... I know what you're talking about. Yeah, oh, you use these, yeah. I see. I see. 
so it technically did change it for you, but you didn't actually, like, okay, that makes sense. It's better to use the actual, like, settings that they have built specifically for that purpose than to slide and move things around on your own, typically. That makes sense. Yeah, that's what I did, um, I did that for the background. The background's just black, but that's what I did for red. But then you have to make the button not fill. Oh, you can do that? Size class. Mm. Like that. Sorry, I'm a clicker. I click everything. <laughs> I know that can be a little, like, uh... Sometimes it's extra good because I, like, get a step ahead. And then sometimes it's extra bad because I'm clicking everything <laughs> before the person says anything. I'm always like that. I have one friend who tries to explain stuff to me, and I get kind of frustrated because I'm always clicking everything. <laughs> That's just how I am. I like clicking. I try to, t I try to keep it, I try to keep it at bay, but sometimes it's all over the place. It just keeps happening. <laughs> if you want to make it bigger, change the minimum size on red. Oh, make it bigger. Minimum size. Oh, and then I could make the font size bigger, or I could take out the text all entirely and then put an image and put a little icon, right? In the theme. See, now this is the thing too, though, that confuses me about the theme, is that, how would I put like a, I guess I could just put an image, right? And put it on top. Or maybe there's like a theme override. We go home. Same old story to write that train. Styles. Opens up my fears. Shut my eyes. Shut my eyes. Like if I didn't want text, if I wanted a picture. Shut my eyes. Shut my eyes. Button has icon property. Oh, icon of oh, icon. That's a line, but oh, I see. Animated texture, atlas texture, camera texture, curve texture, external texture, gradient texture, gradient texture, image texture. There we go. And then I would put an image. Go. 
That's weird. Oh, to the little... That was weird. You gotta admit, that's weird, though, because... Image text. That makes me think I have to go here. Because it's just image, not image text. I think a new person would... Any new person would do this. But anyways. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, but it's not centered. Oh, icon align. Center. Oh, look at that. Flat buttons don't display decoration. Okay, well, I started late today. But it felt like a really good day. I didn't really get that far in the development of the game. But I learned a lot. Before Stewie came and then when Stewie came, I learned like twice as much. <laughs> I'm gonna save that. Yeah, I'd love to redo this. You know, I might not need to do a call with you, Stewie, to redo this. I might be able to do it with that example you gave me. You know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the call. And I want to try to do it myself. I think I can. Because I'm starting to understand it. I'm gonna find somebody to raid now. Oh, Kataya! Oh, but wait, we're doing game development. Why am I trying to raid Kataya? <laughs> He's just playing last game. There's Acer. Maybe I should raid Acer. Who else is on? A bunch of cool people doing cool stuff. But only one person I see in game development. Let's do it. Thanks everybody for watching. It was a really good day. Started late, but we still managed to get a lot done. Um, I'm excited about this menu. It's gonna look really nice. And eventually, uh, all the menu stuff is gonna work. Uh, I'm feeling pretty excited about finishing this little game. The end is approaching with this little game. It's almost done. Uh, Tomorrow, probably going to do multiverses, but maybe uh, not. Maybe I'll play off stream. Maybe I'll do a call with Stewie. I'll see if, if they're free, if I feel like I need to. Um, 
Sunday is High Score Wars. Uh, that's on Dreams. And maybe it'll be the last High Score Wars of the season. We don't know. Uh, early in the week next week, I'm going to try to do some Dream Streams. And then on Thursday, I'll be doing some animations. Animations for my stream. I'll be making them live on stream. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day. Say hi to Acer. Bye bye.